Hey y'all, it's Uncle Dan. Um, I've been cutting down trees, uh, wearing all my safety gear, uh, gloves, ear protection, eye protection, steel toed. Um, I want to tell you this tree is a dangerous tree. Uh, it was taken and killed by a beaver and it's leaning over um, on a oak tree and then even a larger pine tree. I have removed the oak tree and got it out of the way and cleared the area. Now I'm going to go and uh, cut the, the pine tree that it's leaning on and it's all going to fall at one time. You'll see me exit that way at a 45 degree angle from the, the tree I'm cutting and getting behind other trees because uh, you never know what limbs are going to fall out of the trees that are still standing that may be affected or the tree that's falling. Uh, so just be real careful. If you ever do this, be very careful and know exactly what to do and how to do it. Uh, use proper equipment. Um, I came back up just now before starting recording this video and ensured that I had plenty of bar oil in and gasoline and oil mixture for fuel was uh, topped off. And I did a quick uh, ran the file over the teeth real quick just to make sure it's pristine cutting condition so I won't have any problems when I get down there and when everything is counting so I'm gonna walk down the road come in the side and I'm gonna cut and uh, hopefully everything goes well and I'll come back up here and uh, talk to you and I hope the cameras I'm gonna check the camera real quick to make sure it's still uh, pointing in the right direction and um, I'm using a friend of mine's Husqvarna 440. The saw's been working really good. I'm gonna check the camera real quick. Yeah, it's still, still in the right direction. You might see this tree right here that, that looks like Maleficent horns. Well, I'm cutting the tree just to the right of that. Um, so anyway, I'll see you shortly. Uh, that was a precarious situation. That was very dangerous. Uh, the tree that was leaning, uh, like I said, it was killed by a beaver years ago. And it, it was dead. It had dead limbs, dry, and uh, those could easily fall. You may have seen me pause for a second just to look if there was anything possibly about to fall. Uh, you got to watch for those limbs falling. Um, it, it went well. It was comfortable. The saw performed perfectly. 
I had a sharp blade. I went right in. Uh, I had cut the notch, notch out earlier and then come back up here and double check everything was good with my equipment before proceeding to actually do the back cut uh, for those who are familiar with cutting trees down. I have some experience. I'm not a, any way an arborist or a professional at doing this, but I've, I've got experience and I've watched videos and I'm educated. Um, it fell exactly where I wanted to go, uh, both trees. And uh, now I'm gonna go and take all the limbs off and cut it up to, uh, to be able to be transported from the area. So anyway, just wanted to show y'all what's going on with me. Take care, God bless, be safe. Watch out for each other. <laughs> All right, take care. Bye-bye.